Welcome to the Surface Embroidery Stitches series, where we'll be looking at three stitches plus one bonus to be able to complete a piece as we'd see in the 16th and 17th century embroidered coifs, bags, etc. Um, so these are chain stitch, detached buttonhole, a double ladder stitch, as well as a spiderweb rose. So to get a little bit closer, um, hopefully it'll focus all right. Uh, the chain stitch is rendered both in the vines and veins here in gold uh, thread, but also is used to outline the areas that will fill in with detached buttonhole. An important note is that the detached buttonhole does not have to be in any particular direction unless you would like it to be. And sometimes we'll work in stripes or colors. <laughs> Um, so that you can uh, use the direction in order to get the look that you want. Uh, then we use for the veins are, is the um, double ladder stitch. Uh, it's a little bit complicated, but it's really just one movement repeated over and over. So once you get the hang of it, it goes pretty easily. And then as well for anything that has a center, you don't have to, but I like to use a spiderweb rose, which is uh, easy, versatile, and um, sits mostly on the surface like most of these stitches. So let's have a look at the underside, which is messy. That's fine. I'm going to line this. And we have long floats in places because sometimes it's just easier to have a float than uh, to knot something off and start again. I use knots on the back of my work. Don't worry about it. But you'll see how the back of the chain stitch and then it's mimicked again in the detached buttonhole um, so there's not really anything in the middle and uh, for my ladder stitch similarly um, it just has lines going across as we go from one side to the other and also for the spider web we can see that there really isn't much on the back there so let's get started <laughs> 